get started. Uh, typically, uh, in the press conference, I've had the coach give an opening statement. Could you give an opening statement about the game, please? Yeah, first, first off, uh, congratulations to uh, Young Cogs. Um, I thought they played great. Uh, I'm, I'm so proud of, of our kids, where we've, where we've come uh, this season to get to this point. Uh, I thought the story of the game early was it took us a, a minute to adjust to the speed at, at which they were playing. Um, I, I felt confident, though, because I knew when we did adjust, and we did adjust, that uh, we were going to get the looks that we w that we got all night, and uh, you know we came up a little little short here. But uh, I, I just told our guys in the locker room, there's nothing but nothing but pride. Uh, this is the greatest accomplishment in Hillsboro basketball history, and we're just we're proud to be a part of it. Okay, thanks for those comments. Let's open it up for questions as far as Hunter and Avery and what they could do and where you could put them on both ends of the floor. Um, yeah, I, you know, I don't, I don't know that it necessarily affected that too much because when we put the two big guys in, they, they had to guard them and they really couldn't match up with that size. The biggest thing was when we got the ball down there, we had to go right away because they were, they were doing a nice job of putting bodies on us in, uh, 33, um, Devontae Bridges, he's, you know, once he gets his body on you, it's, it's hard to finish through that contact. So uh, we, had, we had the advantage down there with those big guys. Um, we went smaller because Ethan Thorson was playing so well for us, and we just felt like he gave us uh, the best chance to guard them and to uh, knock, knock down some open perimeter jump shots. A couple of minutes to get used to it because they were pretty quick. Not only are they quick, they could jump, so that was tough. But uh, I think we, we managed well in the second half. We just came up a couple plays short.